Hi, everyone. I'm Archbishop Peter Sarton, the Archbishop of Seattle. I'm happy to share a few reflections with you about the great Easter mystery because we're celebrating this greatest feast of the entire year. And I thought I'd begin by sharing with you a brief passage from the 20th chapter of the Gospel of St. John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered the head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived first at the tomb, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned home. When Mary Magdalene runs to tell the disciples that the tomb is empty, John and Peter had to go because they had to see for themselves that the Lord Jesus was no longer buried in this place. And so St. John tells us, not only did Mary Magdalene run to tell them, but then the two of them ran to the tomb. This was such startling news that they couldn't wait to see what had happened. They had to know for themselves right away. It always impresses me when reading this gospel passage that St. John wants us to see that there's an urgency about their own desire to see the Lord Jesus. And so they run. It's also interesting that St. John wants us to know that Peter and John run together, but John, who's the younger of the two, arrives first. But nonetheless, Peter goes in first. John steps aside so that Peter, who Jesus had appointed the rock of faith, the head of the church, so that Peter could go in first, even though he arrived second because of his age. Both of them going in believed. They didn't quite understand yet what the full impact of this empty tomb was, that Jesus had risen from the dead and all that it would mean to them because he would appear to them and then they would know and he would send them the Holy Spirit and then they would understand even better. But at this point, their faith touches them so deeply because they ran to see the Lord that from that moment on, everything was different. They knew that the Lord Jesus had suffered and died just as he had predicted that he would have to do for the salvation of the world. And now he had risen from the dead, just as he said he would do as well. And they saw and believed. I always ask myself when I think about this particular passage, do I run in a good sense? Do I run to all of those things that would help me grow in faith in the Lord Jesus? Or sometimes do I kind of hesitate or take my time or am I lazy about doing those things which increase my faith in the Lord Jesus and in his resurrection from the dead? Today, Mary Magdalene and John and Peter remind us that this great mystery of our faith, who is Jesus, the Son of God, who died on the cross and rose from the dead for us, all that he has given us is worth running for. It's worth putting first on every priority in our life and running to him in every situation in life, we too will come to deeper faith. Just one small thought for this Easter season, knowing that our faith tells us that Jesus, our Savior, has died on the cross and risen from the dead for our salvation. Will we run to him, run to see him, run to get to know him more, run to understand the scriptures more, Run to celebrate the sacraments with the church. Run to Mass to receive the Lord's body and blood. Run to be with our friends in loving all those whom Christ has given us. Run to help others who have need, just as Jesus sent us to do. Will we run like Mary Magdalene and John and Peter? The truth is, if we do, if we imitate them, we won't be disappointed. We will meet the Lord 
and he will give us even deeper faith and hope. God bless all of you. And with this message, I send my prayers and my best wishes for a very happy and blessed Easter.